cow overflows how factual memory becomes psychological memory each memory is factual but we have emotional disturbances wounds and egocentric identities the egocentric identities wounds all these work together to create a false personality which is ego everyone thinks that my religion is the best just as each child if you ask he says my mother is the best mother in the whole world my mother is the best cook in the whole wide world what is this whole wide world refers to it refers to the world that he has created around him if everyone says my mother is the best cook i say you say he says she says then what is the relevance of it it is meaningless but you have to understand it deeply each religion evolved from the existential source that some consider as god allah or by any other name if everything is coming out of the same source what is the difference the origin is the same if you plant a garden different variety of roses each rose draws its nourishment from the same fertile soil from the same atmosphere from the same the bed of the water to irrigate but because of their innerness oops a rose comes green black dark red yellow pink white and different colors but all of them are roses and we must respect these because these have evolved from the same source so to all the religions have evolved out of the same source and we must respect it is like different styles of cuisine there is chinese cuisine indian chinese mexican italian japanese thai indian north indian and south indian all come from the same kitchen probably made by the same chef using the same equipments with but one particular cuisine satiates you than the other that does not give you any authority to condemn or criticize any other cuisine it is a different matter that you do not like mexican food for whatever reasons i like and there are people who like to experiment with different kinds of cuisines this is more with the younger generation with the older generation they are stick to what they know younger generation they try out many different dishes this you will have an experience so the same is the situation with the religion when you do not understand this the factual memory becomes psychological memory and that continues to create problems for you i have heard one old psychoanalyst and his younger young assistant were coming down the elevator after finishing their work for the day 
it was already late they should have finished almost three hours before but the patients went on and on telling their dreams it had been a very tiring day and young man was getting tired every day so tired that he was thinking of dropping out of the business although the profession is the most highly paid profession in the world he was thinking of doing something else this was torture for him but he was wondering that the old man his teacher and now his colleague does not seem to have any worry so in the elevator finding him in seclusion nobody else was there to hear he said i want wanted to ask you professor one thing you never get tired you are so old the whole day listening and listening and listening i cannot sleep in the night those patients torture me even in the night they become my nightmares the whole day i am tired and in the morning i get up utterly tired i am thinking that this profession is going to finish me what about you i wondered you look always as fresh by the evening when we are returning as you were in the morning in the office the old man said you do not know the secret who listens and he showed him from his pocket two air plugs he said this is the protection once the patient is on the couch and sigmund freud has very cleverly arranged that the patient cannot see the psychoanalyst he sits behind the couch the moment the patient has started i immediately take my air plugs out and close my eyes and just sit silently with ears blocked with air plugs it is such a meditation it is so beautiful he is paying for my meditation otherwise i would have been dead long ago i wanted to tell you myself but i was waiting for you to ask never tell it to anyone else particularly the patient should not become aware that they are not being listened to and the problems are almost the same the whole psychoanalytic problem process is that the person who goes on talking about his worries concerns anxieties and problems just by talking feels relieved it is not a question that you have to listen to it if he could if you could talk to a wall that would do the same as psychoanalysts do the you would have seen little children when they are disturbed by the parents they go to their dolls and they talk to them <coughs> it is said also according to sanatan sanskriti when you have worries and so you go to a lonely place spell out everything in front of a tree as if you are talking to the tree this does exactly the same thing as psychoanalysts do but you need psychoanalyst because it has become a prestige and you pay him exorb high price for his services but he does not listen you go on saying whatever you want to say it is a release it is it is a catharsis in fact psychoanalysis analytic process is a catharsis for that you don't need anyone else you can do this catharsis on your own in a lonely room you can 
enact the whole scene. This is where Osho has started the dynamic meditation with five stages. First, you are doing the chaotic breathing to bring out the suppressed emotion to the surface. Then you are behaving like consciously mad. Whatsoever comes out of your mouth, you use it. This is catharsis. This is how the entire process of catharsis goes on, which is the essence of psychoanalytic process. But it is difficult to talk to a wall. You look, it will look little weird talking to yourself. The more highly you have to pay, the quicker you get better. This is the human psychology. You feel very happy talking to your friends that I went to the most expensive psychoanalyst and he helped me. Because then you start bringing up all the rubbish quickly. If you pay cheap fees, then you will go slowly, first layer, second layer, third layer, and there are so many layers of this crap in you. And you do not want to expose yourself so quickly. But when you are paying so much of money, you don't want to waste so much money and you immediately come to the basic layer. If it is, you know that you have to pay a very high fees to the psychoanalyst, you would like to finish everything in one session, at the most two. But if the fees is normal, very minimal, then you will go on and go on and linger. This is what happens. So it has become a highly paid profession, the psychoanalytic process. And as the elderly psychoanalyst said that I do not listen. And I recall I had an elderly friend who was 75 at a time when I was 25. When I am talking to him, he never said any word except, yes, very true, you are right. These three words she used, and I keep on saying things, all kind of things, bragging, talking, this and that and all that. And he never said anything. But this helps me to release. There was no price for it. So psychoanalyst. Psychoanalysis is the process of catharsis. When this happens, the sum of your emotional wounds get reduced or get healed. That is why it psycho. If there is an emotional disturbance or inner healing is needed, you go to a psychoanalyst. But if you can do this on your own, and if you have a problem, you can ask me. I'll tell you how to do the catharsis. This first book, Life, Love and Light by Nivedita, is her catharsis. And she said, all that she has to say and whatsoever was hidden, suppressed deep within her. And slowly and slowly the catharsis is completed and all that inner wounds vanished, healed. This is how the psychoanalysis works and the factual memory becomes psychological memory. Enough for now. Thank you.